Hi guys, I hope you well. So today I want to show you how to make a bootleg. There's this record I love. There's the global number one, the Cardi B record, uh, WAP. I want to make my own version because I'm, I'm not going to play a version that everybody has or that's on the radio. This is completely a bootleg. Uh, it's not like the most legal stuff, but this is personal, so it's totally okay to do this. I'm gonna open a new session. I know that my tempo is 133. Yeah, 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 you fuck you with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop. I just need to put it really tight uh, on the beat and also respect her swag. So this is a little bit hard to explain, but but basically like she's a little bit late on the beat, but that's why it's so cool. So what I've noticed is that she's herself using a sample. Um, I remember it because it was a house music record. I think I want to use this as an intro. But I want to make it more into my world. I need a beat, so I've put some, some beats on the side. I just want to put a little bit of a delay on this. I'm going to show you one of my favorite plugins. This really make everything sound amazing. We have the intro, so now I'm, I'm going to look for a drop. I'm going to look for a sound first. Uh, my favorite synth in the moment is definitely Serum, especially for those badass sounds. I just went to Splice, which is magic uh, website. In case you don't know it, you just go there and find some amazing presets. I think this is going to be my lead sound. The main, the main sound uh, I want to use. Oh, you see? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you fuck you with some wet ass. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the vocals right here, actually, so I remember. This is perfect to finish because she's like on a high, so it's almost like she's preparing us for the drop. I like to draw notes, but to find a melody, usually I like to fuck around a little bit with the, with the keyboard and then uh, get into this. I like using a lot of semitones, especially for club stuff, because it's like a weird feeling. Makes it a little edgier. Quantize this. Let's see how it would be with drums. I just took a, a loop that I think is cool. The sound is a little bit too aggressive for the verse, so uh, I'm gonna try to find a sound that has the same vibe, but that is a little less aggressive. This is a bang that I really love from Seven, Seven Skies. Oh yeah, that's the one, my frequency. Okay, and now, what we really need to fit it is a side chain. This is really dope and easy to, to get a great result very fast. Here you go. I think for the drums, I need to make a different, uh, uh, more simple drum loop when the vocals are there. I'm just gonna keep the kick and the snare. I just want to boost this sound a little bit. I'm going to use a little secret. This is something I use on a lot of sounds. Yeah, 
Yeah, like that. So the OTT is like a multi uh, compressor, but it almost makes it bounce. I'm going to show you one of my main uh, secrets for production. So most people, they use sidechain. They all, always use sidechain with um, the kick as a trigger. And I'm going to use the lead drop as a trigger instead of the kick like everybody does. This would be without the trick. This is with telling the reverb to work only when the sound is not playing. This is cool. I'll do the transition at the end, completely at the end, and I'll, I'm, I'm putting all the effects um, really at the end now. I'm just trying to get a feel of what the record could be. Put this pussy right in your face, swiping nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I wanna ride. So I want to try to find a little idea for this transition. I think I'm even going to mute those. Oh, let me try. I have an idea. So now we're going to go into the second verse. I want to keep the tension all the time, all the time. So. After the drop, I'm gonna do some new drums, a little more urban. I'm taking a regular 909 clap, and then I'm gonna take a serum to play a kind of 808 kick. I remember one sound that I really liked. This is pretty dope. I um, moved around the notes, uh, make them the quantize. There was even a little accident that I played a note without wanting it and it actually make it sound even cooler. So now I have all my elements because after that, I'm gonna go back to the same music that I had in the first verse and the drop. Okay guys, so uh, that's it. I did the mix, a little bit of a master. Here we go. <laughs> to make each record I play in my set an exclusive version and I hope you enjoyed this if you're a young DJ and you're also trying to make your set unique. Big love. <laughs>